sometimes I find it really difficult to come up with good ideas. And if you're watching this, I think you probably do too. There are some things that I've come across recently that have really helped me figure out how to come up with good ideas and turn them into things that I want to talk about, things that I want to write about or create videos about. And I want to share those with the, you in this video. And really there's two things. There's one framework and one thing that I think you can really do that has helped me every single time that I've done it. And so let me dive in and tell you what those things are. Number one, if you're really struggling to come up with something, try getting on a call with some friends and talking about the things that you know and the things that they may not know. Try teaching them about it. By doing that, you'll start to pick apart the pieces that you may be missing that you can teach or you can share with other people because they are less knowledgeable than you or they have other questions about what you do that you're answering and those can become the things that you talk about. I've been doing that a lot more recently and that's how I'm starting to come up with some good ideas, some good concepts for pieces that I want to talk about, things that I want to share about because doing those things allows you to see the gaps in what you're already sharing about and the combat the expertise gap where you know so much that you forget what a beginner doesn't know. Um, the second thing that you can do, there's the second thing is use this kind of framework that I learned recently from a mentor of mine. Um, and it kind of follows what Colin and Samir have done in their, um, in their course. And it's the framework of other people's ideas, other people's ideas tied with your own experiences and your own experiences. The best one of those is your own experience. If you can talk about your own experiences doing things, golden. But if you're struggling with things, struggling to come up with ideas, things to talk about, try taking other people's ideas, have experience with them, and then turn them into ideas that you're learning that you have. And by doing that, you'll have new ideas, things that you can resonate on, things that you can talk about, things that you can share about what you've learned by using those ideas, those concepts. The last thing that you can do if you're really struggling is just take other people's ideas, share where you got them. I do not condone stealing, but share where you've learned this idea and talk about it, share it with others. By doing that and sharing where you got it, you're sharing the idea with the more people and you're expanding the reach of that person's knowledge and that person's ideas. So doing those few things can really help you come up with ideas and they're starting to help me come up with more ideas. Um, the one thing that I would say is that it can be kind of difficult sometimes to take somebody else's idea and try and talk about it because you feel like maybe that idea has been talked about a lot before and that you need to turn it into something that's new. At least I feel that way a lot. Um, I would say you can still talk about it, share where you got it from, share where you learned it from, and just share it with your community because maybe somebody else hasn't heard it before and it's still good for them to learn it. Um, that's kind of how I'm starting to look at ideas and generating ideas. I'm still learning a lot about how to do this because I'm feel I'm still new to the content game, but if you have any ideas or if you have any ways that you generate ideas for your content, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Um, it's so interesting to find out how other people do things. One thing that I'm trying to do is read more again and take some ideas, some inspiration from what I'm reading and turn that into pieces of content that I can share. So let me know down in the comments below what you do to generate ideas for your content. And I look forward to the next one.